for any Ultimate Team coins, check out U7 by one day left on their Christmas and New Year special sale up to 15% off. Use my code data at checkout for a discount. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, kids and boys, uh, gentlemen, all that stuff. <laughs> uh, we're going to wait a second until this loads. And just like last time, it's actually pretty quick. No loading screen, I guess, but we do have a Headliners team to, uh, to talk about in a second. But I want to check out, it's Tuesday. And I don't know what we're supposed to have. Maybe a new just daily SBC. Uh, so nothing in objectives, which doesn't really surprise me. Didn't really expect anything there. These, by the way, seven years of Sound Gray are two cards I really do want to get. Oh, we got Record Breakers Edward finally. So this was, has been leaked for like a week or two. And it looks like he's finally here. Record Breakers Edward celebrating the fastest goal scored by a player on his Premier League debut. Very, very, very specific. 85 rated on him. This is a strong link to Wilfred Zaha as well. Four star, four star, high medium, six foot two. Marksman already looks like it could be a very, very good thing on this card. And that shooting should be like being brought down by like a certain red stat. So let's check this out. Pace foot is great. Shooting, shot, shot power and attacking positioning lacks a lot. Vision is good. Short passing, free kick accuracy, curve is all great. So his passing is very underrated. Dribbling, reactions is low. Agility and balance, forgot that 6-2 is actually incredible. Stamina, strength, jumping, heading accuracy is all great. Finesse shot trait as well. Three SBCs. Okay, I expect this. 85 rated card. I expect this to be 83, 85, 86. Especially considering the links, considering he's French, and considering he's Premier League. 83, 85, 86 would make sense. So 82, 84, and then 86. 82, 84, 85. That is not bad at all. Two team of the weeks. One uh, French player for this one. Prime, Prime Electum. All uh, tradable packs as well. Six days to complete this SBC, I think this is very, very underrated. For a guy that's 85 rated, he looks very good. Um, and then if you compare him to like Pierre-Marc Aubameyang, it's much better value than that one. We have first 11 player here for a draft token pack, which is cool. They're giving out a lot of draft tokens. I don't know what the reason is, but in a lot of different areas of the game. And we have 84 plus player pick here. Two days on this one. It's an 83 rated squad, one team of the week. Let's see if I can go complete this. I'll be right back. All right, this is the 84 plus player pick complete. 60 chemistry is a little bit ridiculous, which made me use a lot of like players I don't want to use, but I mean, it is what it is. We're using Inform Vishka in here. This is what I use to complete mine. It's 83 rated, one team of the week. And here we go. As always, guys, let me know in the comment section down below where you get DM me if you get any crazy pulls with your pulls. DM me if you get any crazy pulls in your player picks, and here we go, one of 83, 84 plus gold players, and we get Tony Kroos. I mean, considering fodder, I think he's cheap, right? He's like 20, 20, 30k? Considering fodder, 30k. Considering fodder's really, oh, he's 20, oh, uh, uh. considering fodder's super cheap in, in, on the ground right now. I mean, that, that, that's cool, I guess, but nothing really too special. Let's go check out that new um, Edward in uh, Fopin. All right, so here is Edward. He's looking like he's coming in at around 120k, which I think he should be a little bit cheaper. Let's go take a look at the SPC first and see how it's being received because that is usually what I do like to take a look at. 61% of vote, 39% down vote, 79 of vote, and then 21% down vote on the player pick. So it looks like we broke even. You have to get like an 88 rated player around there to break even, and then no one really likes this draft token pack. Uh, but this Edward is... It's not a bad one. Like, let's take a look here. Is he actually 60, 30? Okay, so I guess he is going to be around like 120K-ish. If not, he's probably going to come back down a little bit to around 100,000 coins. But basic comes though, 89 rated. Finisher. Finisher's a nice one. Finisher's a nice one. It doesn't boost the reactions. Marksman does. I think Mark... Yeah, Marksman. 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 91 rated. Marksman, 100%. You could put a Hawk on him, um, make him just much, much quicker, finishing up, and then boost the physical stats as well. That's another one. But I think Marksman or a Hawk is definitely like the two that you want to go for. This is a very good striker. It's an incredible striker, in my opinion. You compare him to a couple players. Like, let me check out some other players that I can compare him to. All right, so I decided to go for these three. These three are pretty comparable, in my opinion, if anything. Aubameyang and Edward are the most comparable because they're both tall and then Eto's what like 5'8 so he's a little bit shorter five, or he's 5'10 okay my bad he's 5'10 but they're both they're all four star four star 100k for Edward 400k for Aubameyang 800k for Eto. Edward by far has the most in-game stats from the three but I say that they're similar in that the, the the stats distribution is all similar on all of them they all have 
good pace. They all have very good shooting. In my opinion, Edward shooting is very underrated. Like, it's 84, but everything else... I mean, the attacking positioning is a big problem, in my opinion, because attacking eye is so important. But finishing is up there. Shot power is much better on Eto. Long shots is much better on Eto. Penalties is good, and then volleys doesn't really matter that much. Um, and then the passing stats don't really matter for a striker. Physical stats is where he leads. And then the dribbling, he's better than both of them on uh, that front as well. So I think this is an incredible card, man. I think this is a very good value SPC. It just depends how good he actually is in-game and how much that attacking positioning does hurt him. Because without a hawk, if you put a marksman and you don't have a hawk, it does take down to a, or doesn't boost the attacking positioning, which is very important. So I think you might want to go for a hawk, kind of what like what people are saying here. Um, but that is going to be it for the content today, I believe. Um, and then... I was going to say we, we're going to talk about Hellender's team too, but I don't think we are. Um, but that's why there's there's reasons why this Mbabu, this Zakaria, and then this Mbolo are in the popular players. I'll just let you guys know that. If you know, you know. If you don't, you'll find out. Thank you so much for watching this video. Drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Have a nice day.